whether it's whether it's human nature or my headphones on, whether it's human nature or shady casino marketing, slots enthusiasts use some poor ideas when it comes to slots play. Whatever the source, I'll cover the five most common strategies, uh, strategic mistakes slots players make in today's live stream. And of course, if you have questions, please ask uh, your questions in the chat. Um, uh, I'll, I'll be taking your questions because this is a live stream. Hello to you watching this recording on YouTube, Twitter, my Facebook profile page, or listening later to the audio on a podcast episode. Yes, I have a podcast. Um, 186 episodes so far. It's been going on for years longer than YouTube. Anyway, thank you for being here. And be sure to subscribe or follow for notifications so you can have your questions answered the next time I do one of these. But either way, stick around, and I'm sure it will be of value to you even if you are watching this after the fact. But those of you who are here live, thank you so much. And a special thanks to my moderators for helping out today in today's live stream. Thank you so much. Uh, if you have a question, use hashtag question. I'll put that uh, little message across the bottom of the screen. Uh, that's so you can we can be sure to see spot your message to me instead of comments to the live in the live chat to each other. After all, this is also a community video where friends check in with lots of comments to each other. <laughs> Last Saturday, it was just huge, hundreds of comments back and forth. It was great. Um, so please, if you have a question for me. Start your comment with hashtag question. Welcome to the Saturday edition of the Professor Slots live stream. Uh, um, do you know how do you know how you put a lot of time and energy into your slots play for not nearly enough wins? Yeah, I get it. I'm here to help you change that. I'm trying to. I'll be trying. I'm, if you're trying to accelerate your slots momentum, become more profitable and win more than ever before. Today's live stream. Uh, will help you move forward with confidence. I have over a decade of experience working with slots enthusiasts just like you, so you're in the right place. Hello, slots enthusiasts. It's great to hang out with you again for another um, Professor Slots live stream. I do these every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern, and Saturday at noon Eastern uh, to help you improve your slots performance, leave with your winnings, and ultimately change your life for the better. And hopefully I'm going to change your life a little bit today uh, to, so you can visit your casino and play slots smarter. And sometimes the best way we can do that to change slots enthusiast lives for the better is when they enter a business relationship with us. They become a client. They buy our online course. They start getting coaching from us. Yesterday's um, uh, coaching experience was wonderful. And Thursday night's uh, meeting uh, with my slots IQ is just great. Uh, whatever the case may be, because you, you, you have ways to take advantage of your casino, which allows you to impact how much you win and then leave with your winnings. I'm your host, Dr. John Friedel, but please call me John. Improve your slots performance in 30 days or less with my 30 days to play slots smarter and win. You also get three free valuable bonuses plus one month free to my slots IQ membership, which I just mentioned, where you'll get community support and accountability. Visit professorslots.com slash 30 days to learn more about the free bonuses, course content, and testimonials from participants. Uh, so we have a couple of donations and I want to recognize uh, them. So uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yes, Sir, uh, Serenity, I'll get to it. Um, uh, uh, yes, uh, um, Magpie Eleven says winners master skills. I like how you every time you 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 say something a little bit different in your super chat, and and thank you so much for the donation. It's very much appreciated. And uh, Chuck also has a super chat. Um, <laughs> Uh, and he says, morning all, uh, and uh, thank you, Chuck, for your donation. It is very much appreciated. Um, and and uh, so uh, I have separated the cast uh, today, so I don't have to hold one of my cats upside down and try to isolate it from the other. Uh, yes, they knocked over my modem uh, uh, last time or last night, and um, so I, I, I separated this time in advance. Um, oh, uh, yes, thank you to you. Uh, for your donation. Uh, thank you. Uh, it is all appreciated very much. But um, the Serenity <laughs> is is asking about the cats. Um, and so uh, time for an update on Madame Curie and Isaac. So Madame Curie has uh, um, my, my calico. Uh, 
11 years old uh, is, um, <laughs> yeah, it's cold here too, uh, Cheryl. Uh, uh, <laughs> Flip, how can I proceed, Flip, when you do these things? I guess I, 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 I just, Flip has given a $100 donation. Uh, uh, because as Flip has shared, he's gone from three hand pays a week to, or a month in June to 30, 40, 50 <laughs> a month. And um, thank you, Flip. It is appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, yes, uh, it's nice to see those, um, all those donations uh, across the top of the chat. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, again, uh, the move was expensive and this supports the business and thank you. Uh, right. So <laughs> updates. Uh, Kiri is doing great. She's my 11 year old calico uh, who always used to sit on the couch behind me when I lived in Ohio a month ago. Uh, and she's uh, gone to my uh, one of my moderators, Paula, drove her up to Michigan from southwest Ohio uh, and to my sister, uh, who has uh, uh, my older sister's um, grandkids have adopted two of them. And uh, one of those, the older girl, Maya, I probably shouldn't mention names, uh, is uh, they just, they're buddies. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Isaac is having his first experience. Um, so they're going to travel. Uh, and so my sister was just texting me this morning. I'm like, I have a live stream. I, you know, where's the veterinary records? And I'm like, I gave them to you. you or you could call the veterinary hospital in Ohio and, and get them so that um, because you need all that when you board for a day. And she's like, he really seems to like, you know, this whole boarding thing. I'm like, he's a social animal <laughs> and, and um, not so much, you know, I'm not. <laughs> so it was kind of, uh, it, they're both doing really great. Uh, Serenity, thank you for asking. Um, and good morning, uh, uh, Camilla. Good morning, Dan. Uh, good to see you here. Mark Macklin, uh, Steve, uh, and, um, uh, and Cheryl mentioned how cold it is. Uh, and <laughs> uh, Camilla, I recognize that uh, they are uh, uh, unstimulated. That's why uh, they're running around lately and they've been doing it even not during live streams um, and they need more furniture. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. You're, you're spot on that. Um, and I'm, I'm still saying hello. Uh, and uh, Yes, Camilla, you have a good point. I was actually going to ask um, Flip if he would be interested in uh, doing exactly that. Okay, so let's get to the topic today before we get into the question and, and answers. Wouldn't want to skip it. <laughs> um, right. Uh, so if you're new, these live stream how these live streams work is I pick a topic. Uh, and, and usually inspired by your questions from prior live streams, comments on Facebook or, or Twitter, from emails I receive from fans or from weekly discussions in my Slots IQ membership group. Each live stream, uh, I talk about that Slots related, related topic, topic for about 20 minutes uh, and then take your questions for the next hour and 40 minutes. I hit a hard deadline at two hours, which is when my voice starts to get out and tends to give out. Uh, so I'll take your questions as soon as I cover today's topic, but start asking them now. It's a free service uh, and I, I'll get to as many of your questions as I can as soon as possible. But first, today's topic, the first wasteful strategy. And I will add that back to the live stream. Uh, yes, the first wasteful strategy uh, is, uh, isn't exactly a strategy, but rather a lack of, of a, a lack of strategy or even the lack of any, that a strategy is even possible. It's a belief that nothing matters because desi despite so much evidence, slots are fully random. It's fascinating to me that when I talk to folks, um, let me grab this and drop that in there. Um, there's the link to my online course for you. Uh, it's fascinating to me when I talk with folks, folks who say this. They don't say slots are random. They say slots are fully random or truly random. Because they say that that way, we know that they subconsciously know they're wrong. It's, ob it's obvious they're not using logic. For them, it's a belief. It's faith-based. They want it to be true. 
Why? Well, I can only speculate what's going on in their heads. If they're another slots channel, saying so gets them out of having to explain how slot machines work. So, you know, you might call that laziness, you might call that whatever the reason, it gets them out of a lot of work. Uh, if they're not saying it for business reasons to get out of helping their audience win, but rather if it's their personal approach to playing slots, I'm sympathetic. There have been, they've been, they've been so many changes since the 1990s. So why can't we go back to that time, to that golden age of what? Their youth? Yes, I'm sympathetic, but the five spin method worked in the 1990s. And so did my location, location, location method, which I experienced in 2004 and recount in my book, Learning to Win. In engineering, I'm what's called a disruptor. I'm shaking up the whole slots gaming industry. Yes, plenty of folks have figured out one thing or another of my methods and, you know, quietly made a profit for years. I interviewed some of them for my podcast where you can hear them for yourself. And maybe that's the personal motivation that's going on here. Some have been playing slots for years and losing. And they blame it on something else. They blame it on slots being random. When they see my content now, they understand that they're wrong, that they were wrong, that they've been wrong for decades. And so I must, I must be wrong, not them. Otherwise, they are, and they can't accept that. Some can and are so glad to switch over to winning at slots, finally. But others, not so much. If slots were random, nothing you do would matter. That's what random means. But when you look up from your slot machine, go for a walk and look around your casino for the landmarks I have pointed out casinos have, you turn into a slots player like Flip, who went from three hand pays in June this year to 30, 40, 50 hand pays in the last, each of the last three months. But as Flip has told us during live streams, making that switch took a mental effort and other skills come into play with that switch, like gambling records and learning how to walk away with your wins, which Flip does. So the second, and, and uh, thank you, Flip, for a question. Uh, Flip has a question. Um, and so, uh, <laughs> and it's a great question. I'll get to it, Flip. Thank you. Uh, the second wasteful strategy is, a, um, is thinking all slot machines with the same game theme are identical when they are not. Yes, casinos can, you know, uh, let me make sure I update the slide. Um, uh, yes, uh, the casino could set the odds of winning to be the same for each, but their only legal requirement is to stay within theoretical payout limits. Only 30 U.S. states have the minimum theoretical, have a minimum theoretical payout limit, usually so low that casinos don't dare go that low uh, or their casino patrons would revolt. Like Nevada is 75% when the state average return hovers close to 93%. And only 14 states have a maximum theoretical payout limit, which if that state gaming regulation says it's over the lifetime of the machine, it's not so, not so concerning. But if it says per wager, well, that can be a real downer for slots enthusiasts in those states. That per wager wording, legal wording, blocks casinos marketing efforts which you know they're good and bad if you know how to take advantage of them then they're good for you uh, uh, if you don't know how to take advantage of, of them then they're bad for you so you know these these this per wager wording blocks slots enthusiast wins too ouch to know what your state's theoretical payout limits are if any see my state by state slots articles at professorslots.com uh, followed by a slash followed by your state's two-letter postal designation. I probably should share that. So let me uh, show you where that is. Uh, and I will uh, add the stream. There you go. And I'll minimize me. Yep, there I go. Uh, and so uh, you can type in professorslots.com slash and then the two-letter postal designation for any state. Or you could go to online resource, professorslots.com slash online resource, uh, and you can get all of them. So this is this is the links to each of these states. Um, let's see. What's, let's go to 
Uh, it's a little depressing. <laughs> Let's go to Pennsylvania. Uh, there it is. And so uh, this is the, the how the structure of the uh, articles are set up for your state. It's always the same introduction, relevant legal uh, statutes for gambling, uh, uh, private ownership, what, the, what are the rules, gaming control board, casinos. Sometimes this is a long section versus commercial versus tribal. Uh, what's on every, uh, what's all the, all the states on either side um, that you might also gamble in if you're near the border. I have a Facebook group for every state, um, and it's 57 of them. I have to moderate 57 Facebook groups. Oh, um, and uh, I, I, my moderators are for YouTube. I should ask them if they would be willing to do their state and get 57 moderators and only have to moderate 57 moderators. Oh, okay, that's not a good idea. <laughs> so so um, theoretical payouts and return statistics in Pennsylvania, and this is the wording right there. Uh, the theoretical payout minimum for slots, slot machines in Pennsylvania is 85%. So that's the theoretical payout minimum limit. Uh, it's not what it, casinos are set to, it is what the legal limit is, which is far too low for casinos to be excited about using that at all. Um, but it's a safeguard. And then there's also, but in Pennsylvania, there's also a maximum theoretical payout limit, which casinos cannot go over uh, and may not exceed or equal 100%. Uh, and both of these apply to each single play. So this is highly limiting to, um, it's highly limiting to uh, for, cas for casinos, marketing efforts, uh, and it is highly um it is highly uh, limiting for slots enthusiasts in those states. And if you're wondering why that, you know, you're not winning in Pennsylvania, this is a big clue. Uh, Iowa has that and others. So, yes. Um, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I heard a, uh, my cat sort of like, oh, okay. <laughs> He's looking out side. Uh, there's a hummingbird little tray. Uh, it's a little bit cold for that, but there was a hummingbird little tray over there, and he just thinks that's a small bird. That's awesome. <laughs> um, so, uh, yes, you can check what you have, what your what your casino is legally obligated to do, uh, and if you're one of the few states that has a, a ma theoretical payout maximum, uh, and it's per wager, Oof. Um, there are other wordings like per game theme lifetime, per lifetime. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I have, I myself have a fondness for Wheel of Fortune machines. Um, and so, but that fondness comes from the center two machines against the back wall of the high limit room at the downtown Cincinnati Casino, which is, you know, which gave me so many hand pays, 50 in six weeks. But I don't assume every Wheel of Fortune in the U.S., and abroad is a winner. Daily, I share wins from my private Facebook groups on my YouTube community page. I like the comments best, which ask, what casino was that? Where can I find that machine? And I worry about those that go to their local casino looking for that game theme, thinking all machines with that game theme are winners because they saw one winner on that machine in some other state. So, you know, sorry, I guess. Uh, the third, the third wasteful strategy. Uh, the third wasteful strategy is for those that follow rumors of advantage plays on certain game themes. Yes, advantage plays certainly exist, but about ninety percent of these rumored ways to win are bogus, and it's easy enough to check an AP advantage for yourself instead of just assuming someone else gave good information. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. When I was a kid, I used to say, if someone told you to jump off a bridge, would you do it? <laughs> you can check if an advantage play exists by reading the game rules on that machine. And maybe you're the trusting type, but you're, or maybe you're the trusting type, dare I say, gullible. Uh, and don't spend a minute reading the game rules before pulling out your bankroll. And yes, game rules are tough to read at first and, you know, getting worse, actually. But but practice makes perfect, as they say. I noticed last week at Atlantis, um, and maybe I can share this. 
Atlantis is right there <laughs> in Reno. Can you make it out? It's a little cloudy today, so you can actually kind of see it. Um, and uh, uh, so I was I was there, and I was looking at a, um, a Prosperity Link machine in High Limits, and it had something like 20 screens of game rules, and it, it didn't really have a clear indication when they had started over, but I counted through them, and it's like 20 pages. Uh, and slide after slide after slide. I'm, I'm used to half that, eight, 10 slides, but now it's 20. Casinos know that the longer the game rules and the harder they are to read, the better for them. It's a common you know, terms and conditions trick used by a lot of businesses. Um, don't bother reading it, just agree. Mm, yeah. uh, and now going to the next, the fourth, uh, we were talking about this, I think, Cheryl, and you brought it up um, last time, and it's inspired today's uh, 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 live stream topic. The fourth waste is so, so terrible. It's the number one problem preventing slots enthusiasts going home with their winnings. Let's say it all together in three, two, one, chasing wins. Just to be clear, that's when you win a surprising amount and stay to spend it because you want to win more. And then more often than not, lose it all. We all know that awful feeling, driving home from the casino, remembering when we had it in our hand and asking ourselves, why didn't we leave with it? We've all been there. Call it last, lack of discipline, call it whatever. I say when it happens that it's a painful lesson, a lesson you've paid for maybe multiple times. I try to encourage clients in my consultations that they've paid an expensive lesson, likely multiple times, far more than any booking costs. So learn your lesson. Take it seriously. Treat it as a serious issue, not as a, huh, well, moving on. Um, it is a serious thing to learn. Understand that it's a serious problem and treat it that way. That's my advice. Uh, and in the in the consultations, we talk about the particular things that happen and what might be a good lesson. So the fifth waste is, I'm loving all the question that I, questions that I'm seeing out of the corner of my eye. Uh, the fifth waste is being convinced you're lucky. Make sure if you ask a question, that you put a hashtag question at the beginning of the comment. Um, the fifth waste is being convinced you're 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 lucky. As a trained physicist, I'm a little non-pulsed by those statements. Um, my audience and you know clients have included folks who are firm believers. They have ESP, or they they that they're 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 psychic. You know they they have a business where they're a psychic, and I'm I'm fine with all that. You know I I'm not going to disparage that. But in my opinion, those are just labels, exciting labels to be sure. But I believe those folks are using their instincts. I'm a big fan of instincts. Um, back when I was in Taekwondo, I was in graduate school for physics and Taekwondo when I first started it. Great program at Iowa State University. Master Pak is Grand Master Pak, what we all call him Master Pak, is, was the first, the youngest inductee in the um, uh, the, uh, um, Hall, the Martial Arts Hall of Fame in, in Los Angeles. Uh, so, you know, just top-notch, um, you know, designate, uh, des uh, any, I don't want to, all, all martial artists think they're, 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 um, instructors, the greatest. <laughs> and so, but, but nothing, the, uh, Miyagi had nothing on this guy. So, uh, yeah, Master Box, awesome. But I was in my first semester of graduate school, a physics graduate school, um, more than one graduate school. Oh, like what a life I've led. led. And, uh, that we, I was asked to come to, um, I was high enough ranked to to come to a weekend warrior three day learn CPR learn how to fight not with closed hands but with open hands which you don't want to do in tournaments because you could you could really hurt somebody despite all the pads um, and so we learned um, self sort of some self defense techniques and some first aid techniques and breaking uh, heavy breaking uh, breaking uh, concrete uh, blocks. Uh, and that was all fun. But one of the things was a discussion about chi and using chi. Uh, and uh, and I won't give you the whole lesson, but but one of the things was um, we, we would stand in front of each other and one person would do uh, the most normal punch that you can imagine, 
and just come close, but don't actually hit. And the other person's job was to counter with whatever they could come up with. More original, the better. Uh, and so during this lesson about chi, they said, okay, we're going to do this very common thing where, where you do this, but we're going to ask the person who is receiving to turn around. Not, not watching behind them, but turn around, face away. And when the other person punches, respond. And we're like, how do we know when the other person punches? Well, you use your chi and respond. So I was telling, I had a group of um, all the, the physics uh, uh, teaching assistants uh, back back at the office afterwards, and uh, and I said, you know, we we all know about energy, and we don't we know there's no such thing as chi, and and um, you know, I explained the whole process to them, and they said, um, you know, I'm I'm like, you know, it's just ridiculous, and they're like, yeah, it's 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 completely ridiculous, and I said, yeah, except there's one problem, and then they said, what's the problem? And I said, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> So that's a, that was a lesson for me and maybe for them that um, we are, uh, you know, we all have things going on. Our, our, we, we survived this long. Our ancestors survived long enough to have us many, many, many ancestors. Uh, and we have instincts. And those instincts are amazing, uh, even in modern on the modern day. Uh, so that that was my lesson from that. And that's what I think when I talk to someone who says a psychic or an ESP and I, I work with them and I say, great. Um, and how's the business going? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I respect them. I do. Uh, so uh, improve your slots performance in 30 days or less with my 30 days to play slot smarter and win. You also get three free valuable bonuses plus one month free to my slots IQ membership where you get community support and accountability. Visit professorslots.com to learn more about the free bonuses, course content, and testimonials from participants. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, let me move that around and do that. And okay, so let's take a look at some of the questions. I, I think there was also a donation, uh, another donation, was there? I want to make sure I uh, recognize everybody who has a donation. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, so I'll start from the top uh, looking through these uh, questions. Good, 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 good. Um, Oh no! Uh, oh my goodness! One of my moderators. Uh, this was this that. Uh, um, what is it? Four Kings. It was. It, or was it uh, Hard Rock Bristol in Virginia, West Virginia, uh, or was it um, your usual um, uh, uh, Harris Cherokee in, in uh, South in North Carolina? Uh, uh, one of my moderators says, "Glad to be here. Last night was crazy in a not so good way when a casino server goes down and seventy five percent slot machines and the ticket in, ticket out go offline too. Guests were upset. Um, it used to be a lot more common uh, to have problems like during uh, uh, like slot tournaments back when everybody was using clipboards when the casino was using clipboards." Uh, and there was hardly ever an event that went well. Uh, and they got servers to automate all that and make it a much more pleasant experience. Except, of course, if this casino server goes down, uh, well, <laughs> then we're, we're back to like, ah, yeah, wow. I can just imagine. Um, I can't imagine all the, all the difficulties there. All the money in the machines is still in the machines, and the machines are off or, or disconnected from the server, and that means you know they're all tilted. They're all um, wow, my goodness. Um, hmm. uh, <laughs> it's very upsetting. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, let's see here. Uh, so I have a question from uh, to you. Did you move to Nevada to become a full-time slots player? I moved to Nevada to be closer to family. And I've been wanting to do that for, uh, I don't know, 17 years, maybe longer. It was a dream before that, actively working towards it. Once I got laid off, I thought about doing it. And then when I needed to sell the house, I thought, well, I could get an apartment down the road or I could move, I could move to Reno. And I was very excited about that for about three days. Uh, and and I, I'm still excited about it. But three days after I made that decision, I thought, this could be good for the business. 
so um, I had so the second part of your question to become a full time slots player, um, I uh, I like teaching. It is I, I talk about my motivations in my book, Learning to Win. I I, I like teaching. Um, I find it much more satisfactory. Uh, so I'm not a full time slots player. I'm a I, I've been full time since I was laid off about two and a half years ago for my business. Uh, and, um, yes, I've been using my savings, uh, to supplement my, my costs, not for the, I pay, I'm able to pay for my business, but then there's like rent and student loans, <laughs> student loans, so eight college degrees will get just through some student loans. Um, even though I worked my way through college, uh, there's still a lot of them. Uh, and so all those bills need to be paid. And, um, if I can, uh, coming to Reno gives me opportunities for the business. Um, I haven't shared any of those videos yet. Um, uh, this house sale was going great. Uh, uh, they they came back with another price reduction after all the inspections, but it looks like that part of the contract tomorrow will be signed off and then proceeding to closing. Uh, and that's been occupying my attention. Uh, and so um, what I would like to do is... Uh, um, now be able to focus on going to like one casino that's three point mi three miles away, three point one miles away. Pepper Mill is kind of like off the edge of the screen, right where my finger is. Uh, that's another casino. There's Silver Legacy. There's At the Row, um, and and Legends Bay, and eleven casinos in Reno. And that's probably at most at most like five miles away. Sparks might be six miles away, and that's an easy Uber trip. Um, it was uh, 60 miles away to go to the downtown casino, um, uh, uh, Cincinnati Casino, um, from where I was living in Ohio. So that was becoming kind of like, oh, that's a long Uber trip, $100 one way. Uh, and so now uh, things will change, but but I'm not going to give up the business and become a slots player. Is that what you mean? Even though, uh, you know, I was making a fair amount, I think that the potential for making a fair amount is better when I discuss things nationally with folks. Um, uh, there are, I'm a teacher. That's where my skill set lies. Uh, sitting in a uh, Nevada casinos, I'm allergic to cigarette smoke, tobacco smoke. Uh, and, you know, I can, just inhale all day long. Um, and it's kind of, mm, yeah. I like teaching. I like you guys. I like you guys. <laughs> uh, right. Um, let's see. Uh, Camilla asks a great question. Uh, I'd love to have it here an interview with Flip. Uh, Flip, if you would be interested, I would uh, love to interview you for my podcast. Um, and if you are willing to share your face, which you don't necessarily have to do, um, possibly also an interview uh, on, on video. Uh, and um, I've, I've, you can listen to my, some of my past uh, interviews on my podcast and, and, you know, of slots players and see if you'd be interested. We'd love, everybody would love to hear uh, what you did and how you use my strategies and how it went for you. Uh, if you're willing to share, um, you don't have to just, just making the request. Uh, and um, and uh, Serenity says, I second that. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and the kitties and, and Jan says, I uh, love the graphics. Yes, I'm, I'm uh, providing graphics. That's something that I, I'm just trying to like add to my content because um, if you talk about you know, common mistakes, number one, common mistakes, number two, common mistakes, number three, then you start getting people who come into the live stream like, I miss number one. And so the, the, these graphics are all meant to be, uh, make things easier for people. Question from Flip. Speaking of Flip, uh, do you feel playing multiple slots at the same time is value added or worth it? Um, I, I, I find it exhausting. Um, I, I, it's kind of like the myth of uh, multitasking, right? Where it doesn't actually exist. People think it does, but it doesn't because you're putting your attention over here and then you're putting your attention over there. Then you're putting your attention over here and then you're putting your attention. You're not doing two things at once. You're doing this and this and then this and then this. So when I play a slot machine, I'm like, 
watching the slot machine and the results, watching the slot machine, the results, watching this, and it's all happening like twice as fast. Uh, and I, I don't, I don't see the advantage in that. Um, I need, as you know, I we need to think just a little bit about what's going on, counting to one to ten instead of like counting two machines, one up to up to five each. I there's very rare instances where I would do that. Um, and those would be circumstances in which I don't have to think. Okay, that machine had a win one week ago today. This casino has wins one week later. And there was actually, wouldn't you know it, a same win on the machine next to it. So, okay, play both because the thought's all done. Um, and But only under those circumstances uh, and very few others would I do that. Um, I like to focus. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Flip, are you willing to be recorded by that? <laughs> uh, and and it's a short interview, but uh, um, uh, thank you for sharing that. Um, yeah, and that's a secret. <laughs> uh, um, yes, Flip. Uh, we are letting you know um, if you would send me an email, uh, and we can talk schedule uh, and do a recording. And there's a couple of different ways to do this, but um, I'd like to get audio uh, if you're interested, video. Uh, and um, I don't necessarily need to do it live, um, but that's also a possibility. Uh, but um, my live streams don't last very long. I leave them up for a week and, and then put them away. Uh, so I would like to have something a little bit longer lasting, and that would be um, an uploaded video and where we talk, if you don't mind. Uh, and question from Slots of Fun. Okay. Uh, how does a player club of the same name, Lucky North Club, not transfer to another casino with the same name, uh, Players Club? Uh, copyright violations? Uh, there has been some discussion of this. Uh, it's two different companies. Uh, if you are a small players club uh, at a casino, and those might be a commercial or tribal casino. Uh, and, um, you know, it's an LLC. And every LLC is based on the state. Uh, there's this what's called a nexus, uh, where do you do business at, and you can get an, another license if you do business in another um, state license, if you do business in another state, like Amazon has a distribution center everywhere, and so they have to be incorporated to do business, uh, um, have a business license uh, with every state uh, and and more. And so, yeah, you can you can have a similar name uh, in a different state. Uh, they do try to make sure that your the name is not used in the state that you're in. There's a in Ohio, there's a, a search mechanism to say is that name being used, uh, and you know, you could you can make it without a comma LLC or with a comma LLC, and that's two different names. Yeah, it's all, you know, I don't think it's wise because you get, you know, like as you're saying, what the heck, man, what's going on? Why, why, what, why, why would you do this? So I think a good, um, uh, yeah, uh, a good thing is to not do anything like that but um there are there are people who who start a business and then only later check to see if the url is available and then find out it's not um yeah stuff like that uh and dylan says i'm 30 uh, minutes away from the casino good luck me uh yeah well you know we all have different things um there's i being 30 minutes away is a concern but I, there's a bigger concern, uh, Dylan, uh, which is if there's no other casino within like two or three hours from that one casino that's 30 minutes away from you, because that's far worse. You know, if you have 30, if it, your casino is 30 minutes away, but in the other direction, the other 30 minutes away in the other direction is another casino, then you have options. And the casino knows you have options, and so they try to woo you to come to their casino, and that's that's what you want. But if you're in Hard Rock, Tampa, 
and you have a two hour drive to go to the next closest casino, you know, not the best circumstances. Uh, because the casinos know that you have a two hour drive and say, well, you can either come here and, you know, have your bad luck that we've set it up for you, or you can do a two hour drive one way to go to a casino and we know which one you're going to choose. But then, um, so I talk about this. If you actually look at, um, let me make this small. If you go to, to the bottom of uh, professorslots.com. Uh, or any article. Um, and I put out two articles in this last week, and I'll be putting out several more in this coming week, uh, including podcast episodes. I'm working on uh, being able to do videos with that are uh, don't have echoes and, and and have to get some stuff. So the videos have been a little bit short, but the podcasts and articles have not been that. But when you go all the way to the bottom, uh, ABC 27 uh, is in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, and that I was interviewed for with them. They were looking into their local Penn National Hollywood uh, gaming uh, racetrack with slot machines. And they're like, why is the odds so low? And I had like a four hour interview with them uh, and talked about it. I, I can't show you because they have advertisements. It goes directly to the, the um, abc27.com uh, website and they have advertising and YouTube doesn't let me advertise for others while on a live stream, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but feel free, ABC, professorslots.com slash ABC27. Uh, and that's my interview with them. And they talk about how, um, it's right at the last few seconds, uh, the anchors are talking to one, each other in the evening news. And they said, so, uh, uh, you know, why is this happening here? Well, the odds are very low, never been you know, never been as as high as a month, first month that they opened because uh, there's no local casinos. It's competition is just killing it. Uh, so, um, but then that's Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. But if you look in, up and, and look at the states, um, yeah, let's, let's, yeah, Pennsylvania, we're already on that article. Let's do that. Um, yeah, so this is this is uh, Pennsylvania, and I have a map there. So if you go to, uh, yep, 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 yep. Where is Harrisburg? Uh, so you have you have Philadelphia, uh, and then you have um, uh, where is it? O'Hara is in Chester. So there's there's definitely some isolated like Hollywood here. Uh, that is isolated near the near Harrisburg, the capital, right? Can you see my mouse? Maybe I make it bigger for you. Uh, and that is a long drive. That is a long drive uh, from Hollywood to any other casino. But if you go to Philadelphia, one, two, three, four. And so the casinos know this. And um, uh, so, yes, yours is 30 miles away. But my question for you is, is it? the only casino you can go to because the casino knows that very well and they treat you differently if that's true um yeah uh mystic lake in minnesota is still and says okay let's go to miss let's go to minnesota <laughs> uh yeah, and uh, check it out um so minnesota you can just put in M professor slash, uh, slash MN and let's go take a look. There's a map here too. And do, 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 Mystic Lake. Uh, let's take a look. Mystic Lake, Mystic Lake, Mystic Lake. Do, 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 ah, Mystic Lake. Hey, you, it's Prior Lake and you have Little Six there and you have Treasure Island in Welch not too far away. Awesome. Good for you. Uh, what you don't want to be is like Fortune's Bay or Grand Portage, although there there is some uh, in Michigan uh, there. There's there's some. Uh, so you really have to watch out for the isolated casinos. Um, I, I think uh, Steve is here from Wisconsin. And let's see here. WI. I will use it the way that I instruct uh, WI. Uh, and we'll go to Wisconsin, and I think it's Potawatomi. Is that right, Steve? 
Yeah. Look at Potawatomi and Milwaukee. It's just way away from everything. Um, and uh, not so much in this region, not so much in this region, not so much in this region. Uh, maybe Lake of the Torches might be a little bit um, kind of far, but look at that Potawatomi. And boy, do they know it. <laughs> and, and that's my point. Yeah. So, you know, look at a map. My map, if it helps. <laughs> um, so there's a couple of questions from Leslie, and I'll answer for Flip, uh, which he may choose to or may not. Um, he is uh, at Windstar. Uh, he is at, um, at Oklahoma. Uh, he is uh, um, he has shared that he plays for two hours only, four to six a.m., and he uses all my strategies at. 4 to 6 a.m., which itself is a strategy. Yeah, there you go. But I would love to get it in his own words. <laughs> uh, Mason uh, Macklin, I think is how it's pronounced, uh, says my definition of luck is, uh, isn't that um, uh, Seneca, the Roman philosopher Seneca? I know that this is the catchphrase of one of the um, uh, podcast that I've actually been a guest on uh, from some time ago. Uh, Cousin Vito, uh, I think he says that every time, uh, or at least he used to. Uh, Big J says, how do you feel about the queen, about the queen machines in Pennsylvania and uh, Virginia in terms of volatility? Uh, so you should really listen to the um, last live stream about volatility, uh, which is just a term that's being thrown around and doesn't actually apply to slots. So you're asking about um, the ability to win, about ha having a higher return, which is totally not volatility, which is nothing to do with average return. It has to do with um, how wide of a range on either side of the average return uh, would those wins be. Okay, so now you don't have to listen to the last live stream. Uh, but uh, when you say queen machines, what is that? Are you talking about HHR machines? Are you talking about uh, the raffle machines uh, in those states at, at, at gas stations? Um, if you are, uh, either one of uh, the, the, it's at legal machines or illegal machines, because the illegal machines um, are uh, usually unregulated. Ah, thank you, <laughs> Macklin. I uh, appreciate it. Um, but the illegal machines are, do not have any protections in place. Uh, you know, when people talk about uh, something being random, and, and they're talking about randomness from like an Excel spreadsheet. And that's very similar to what you find at slot machines because they can't afford the additional equipment that casinos have. Uh, and um, yeah, so uh, if it's illegal machines, then uh, it's no safety. And, you know, you, 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 if something happens, you go up to the clerk at the gas station convenience store and and work with them and if they don't give you an answer then you talk the next morning to the manager of the store and that's it there's no going to the gaming industry no going no going to the gaming commission because commission gaming commission's like what no those are legal we don't have anything to do with those we don't have any control over that they don't even pay taxes <clears throat> you know and so that's why a lot of the states are legalizing those things because they want their share of the taxes for it um, now, if it's HHR machines, then HHR machines, uh, a few of my strategies do apply to them. It's a different type of play. Uh, you can, um, uh, let's just do that. Uh, let, me, let me share then with here. Uh, if it's HHR machines, there's several possibilities here, and it's important to know which one. Um, uh, so if you, can you see my, uh, no, you can't see my mouse. If you can see my mouse, uh, then you see here my mouse. Um, I'm going to click on review right there. That's a category. And this is where my new to me casino reports are. And if you are talking about um, 
uh, HHR machines, historic horse racing machines. They're very popular in Kentucky. And if you move down to here, I did a review of uh, different reviews, but one of them, including Return to Player, Indiana, Illinois, Dayton, uh, let's see, ah, Kentucky, yes. So Newport Gaming, Kentucky Casino Trip Review. That's what it looks like. Go into here. And Kentucky has HHR machines. Uh, and I should probably mention that um, if you really want the nuts and bolts on HHR and what it's doing to the local industry, then see my WCPO.com uh, Channel 9, ABC Channel 9 Cincinnati re interview. I'm not, they don't have video uh, of me. They took video, but they didn't use it. Yet. But there's a couple of quotes in the written article. Uh, and that came out Wednesday? Yeah, Thursday? A couple of days ago. Uh, and so, um, yeah, uh, so you can look at my article uh, for this uh, and how I won at those uh, games. And also, Kentucky has the return statistics. Does um, Pennsylvania has return statistics by, uh, by casino? You should look at that. Uh, have I done that? No, I haven't. It's alphabetically um, further down the list. Uh, and uh, yeah, so. I don't really have feelings about it. I have data about it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, D Dylan. I, I have. I have. <laughs> I have no objection to having a favorite machine. Yeah. Um, but people ask me what's my favorite machine, and I say the ones I win on. Uh, and they kind of look at me like, what? And, I'm, and, and yes, I have a fondness for Wheel of Fortune, but I don't play every Wheel of Fortune that I see. I have a fondness because I won at it, <laughs> and like a lot, and I have fond memories. But I don't, but you know, it's two different things. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, good, 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 good. A question from Flip. I still see people targeting machines that other people have just finished playing. I don't believe there there is added value to this unless they just finish getting hand uh, hand pay. Do you agree? Yes, I do. Absolutely. Um, I guess the thinking here, and and you know, it didn't make my top five common mistakes, but the the thinking here is that well, they put a lot of money in that machine and it's due. What? What? <laughs> what kind of strange, you know, but that's what some people think. Uh, just like some people think it just paid out, so it's not going to pay out for a while. What? If it just paid out, it could be a winning machine. You should check to see if it's a winning. It's direct evidence that it, it did pay out. So continue to play it or, you know, pocket some of the money and have a plan, as I say. Uh, and so, yes, uh, there's plenty of people who say, that's a losing machine, let's get on it. And this is an example of, did it come from casinos? Did it come from human nature? You know, it's certainly a shady practice if it came from uh, marketing uh, tips from the casino. I mean, all the employees pretty much have to work, talk from a script. You know, they're not free to say whatever they want, like go home with your money. You know, they could get fired for that uh, and at very least reprimanded. Um, and so when you say fish tables, are you talking about a game theme or are you talking about push tables? Are you talking about pushing machines? So you're using terms, um, queen machines, fish tables. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, it could be multiple things. Uh, it could be all game themes. Uh, that you that you like, uh, you're still asking about volatility, which is the nonsense uh, other slots channels are putting out. Volatility comes from poker poker machines, um, and it's a it's a beautiful word. We talked about this in the live last live stream for an, for quite a few quite a few minutes. It's a lovely word. It's a beautiful word. Volatility, you know, it's just lovely, uh, and means nothing. Uh, it makes people sound smart. Uh, but only if the people they're talking to don't understand that volatility doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Uh, and let's see. Questions, questions. 
Wow, uh, 50 minute drive. Don't give it all away, Flip. Let's save something for the interview. <laughs> uh, and, and, and you can read your uh, Flip's comment there. Um, Uh, Lisa says, bad day at the casino last night. Maybe I should have used 97 of those dollars for your course instead. Right? You know, um, I, I, I think you have a fine idea, but what I like to tell people, and I, I haven't really pushed this, I'm not really good at marketing, and I'm considering this as a marketing strategy. Go to the casino. Watch my content. Win 100 bucks go home with your hundred bucks of winnings and buy my course because it's paid for by listening to some of my content and maybe more of my content will give you more winnings but you know i'm not trying that marketing strategy yeah. uh and joe says we had good success with the five spin method over the last month however we went to the same casinos that on this we can have very few bonuses it's like something changed in the last week yes um, so uh, I had another live stream that might have been like two live streams ago where we talked about this. Uh, you can use, uh, it's the top 10 ways, uh, and it was the first way, which is the five spin method. There's the five spin method, and then there's use the advanced use of the five spin method. Uh, so when you go and you find that you do have taste, what happens later? You can go and and you know go to a high limit room, make max bet, whatever, because you know it has taste. But um, it's it, it people who use the five spin method. The advanced use is to check to see if it's a good time, because what you saw in the odds changing happens. So even though you know it has taste, your casino has taste, go back and make minimum bets on 20 machines and see if it's all still good or not. So it becomes a casino assessment tool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the people say it's random and I'm like, well, what the heck? No. Uh, uh, so question from Flip. I will check with the wife professor on, on the interview and let you know. I don't feel any more qualified to share, uh, but if it will help someone. Uh, it, it's it's I think it would help. I think that it would, um, you know, people have stated an interest and I've, I've done interviews with nobody even stating an interest and they're afterwards they like it. So, I, uh, yeah, I, I am. I'm, I, I stopped doing interviews because people were like, well, you know, I can tell you about my 20 years of playing slots. And I'm like, well, what have you learned since have you used my strategies? You know, since you signed up for the course six months ago? Well, I want to talk about the 1990s. And I'm like, okay. And it was kind of interesting, but it all sort of like devolved like that. So you have had experience this year, Flip, uh, and of, of learning content, uh, even though you haven't finished the course, I say, I think you've said, uh, going from one to the other, um, uh, one method or the other in the last year. And I think that would be beneficial, helpful, um, teaching other people. Yeah. Uh, if you're willing to share, well, just let, let me know what your wife, wife says, uh, how that goes. Uh, um, Maiklin, uh, is the $20 method one of your methods, professor, or the classic tried and true, like the five spin, uh, starting uh, combining these lately. So the $20 method, um, actually that's, I, I have to sort of like separate things. Uh, I have like five different trolls that uh, types of trolls <laughs> that I, I begin to understand, you know, XXX haters, people that are just looking to mess with others. You know, there's just these different categories. Um, and uh, the $20 method is not a strategy exactly. It's a loss limit money management technique. It's a loss limit bankroll management technique. So you put $20 in and there's only $20 in the machine. Awesome. Uh, as I teach in the course, everybody needs a, a loss limit strategy. Pick one. That's great. Yeah. Uh, so it's a tried and true loss limit method. <laughs> Oh, uh, and, and funds like, oh, no, it's a loss limit method. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
uh, yep. Uh, uh, Rivers, Pittsburgh, and Hollywood at Meadows. I had I went to Pittsburgh um, back when I was an aerospace engineer doing some uh, local work. Uh, I spent a couple of days there and had the opportunity to go. I had to choose between Meadows, which I heard was pretty good, and Rivers, which I thought. Uh, so I have an article on Rivers, Pennsylvania, uh, Pittsburgh. So let me see if I can find it for you quickly, and you can. It's a little bit old, a little bit dated, um, and let's see, Rivers. Yeah, Rivers Casino, Pittsburgh. So let me go there and bring it up for you. There it is. And so this is my uh, uh, casino trip report to Rivers Casino, Pittsburgh. Uh, it actually came out, um, I, I last updated in 2022, but it was actually written in 2019. Uh, and uh, so I talked about the Players Club, um, uh, maybe I shouldn't give up my number, uh, uh, and then checking out the high limit room because I always try, I do the most the usual sorts of things as I go through a casino and checking it out. Um, I, I had success using the five spin method. And there, there's the street view of the Rivers Casino uh, as it looked at the time. And um, there's uh, I took I made I had no records, but um, I, I took some notes on on some different things that I was trying. Uh, and hundred dollar had an original hundred dollar bankroll, um, and I found one particular machine that had a great view of the escalator. Uh, and it was a Dragon Emblem jackpots machine, uh, and uh, what happened there, uh, and a long explanation. I, I got a little shorter about these later. Uh, the Grand View Buffet. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, I want to go to the buffet. <laughs> uh, and then uh, all the other things that are so nearby. Uh, to this, uh, there's um, a, a stadium, stadium, science center, Rivers Casino, and then downtown Pittsburgh. Uh, so a lot of local activities. Um, you, you're lucky. You're lucky to have uh, such a nice casino there. Yeah, I liked it. Uh, question from to you. I've heard that video poker is the way to go. The gold at the end of the rainbow. What uh, are your thoughts on this? Uh, certainly it was true 20 years ago. And certainly it was true 10 years ago, but um, what's happening with video poker is that the the good odds, what is it, the uh, flush straight combo 9-6 uh, that has the 100% payback uh, with optimal play or 100 and 100%, 102%, 101% uh, where you can slowly make money with it. Um, uh, I think they still have it in what is it? Is it Southland, uh, North Las Vegas, South something, um, and it's just getting to be fewer and fewer machines which have those odds. Uh, and this is also in Nevada, where um, video poker, video kino, video roulette, video blackjack are not um, slot machines. It's there's a law uh, that says that. So um, again. Uh, I don't know. Do, do, does anybody read my articles? Uh, I, I tried to get caught up on videos uh, for for them, but I have a video poker article, <laughs> which I'll, I'll share. Uh, all free, all free content. Uh, and why are you not reading it? Um, uh, and so, video poker. There is a Nevada uh, regulation, uh, fourteen point zero four zero, paragraph five, and there it is. Um, I'll let you read it. And basically, it means that any of these these video games based on a table game are don't have random number generators, but are actually the math. Uh, the odds of winning are from the math of that game. It, it's there's you know which game of poker are you playing? Bonus, bonus? Are you playing jacks or better? These have different math, and that's what's used. But outside of Nevada, video poker. Does, I haven't been able to find this this very clear, very clear statement anywhere else in the United States. Um, I found it I found it outside of the United States, but I haven't found it inside the United States. Uh, and that means you know no casino is going to pay extra for additional circuitry uh, uh, that they don't need. Uh, and so video poker outside of Nevada, in the US is a slot machine, which is kind of interesting because 
you have to do optimal play on the end of row machine. <laughs> do optimal play when everybody else is winning. It's the combination of what you do for video poker in Nevada and what you do for slot machines. Pretty interesting. Uh, the hummingbird is back. The cat is going to notice. Maybe. Okay. It's off the window. So, okay. Uh, and so, yes, uh, you know, that's how that works. Um, just pick a topic and talk, ask me about it. Um, uh, big, big J, uh, uh, you know, you're welcome. Happy to answer it. Uh, Jan, uh, do you vary your bet on a machine? If so, why? Um, what I, okay, so there's personal play for me, and then there's getting answers for you guys. Uh, personal play has been a little short, and I'm hoping to get back to it, uh, maybe. Uh, but the business is, you know, important to answer your questions. So I like to vary the bet on a machine, me, to see if it is something that you should do to win. And that's why I do it, uh, just to check it out. I've, I have done it. Um, it was at Hollywood um, Lawrenceburg. I won't show you the, the article. There's an article. Uh, Hollywood Lawrenceburg, Lawrenceburg in Indiana. And as I found a winning machine near the cafe, cafe, there's there's a description exactly where it is if you go to that casino. Um, and uh, uh, facing the cafe, uh, Sunset Cafe, and and I played it for an hour. I found a winning machine. I played it for an hour, minimum bets. And my bankroll went up. And after an hour, I thought, okay, it's a winning machine. Um, why don't I try half the bets? So instead of 90 cents, 90 cent bets, why don't I try $2.70 bets? Okay, $2.70 bets. Uh, or is it, yeah, something like that. Uh, and uh, my bankroll for half an hour, Still winning, but not making a profit. It just kind of my bankroll sort of stayed right there. I started with 100 bucks, went up to 300 bucks, half an hour at $2.70 bets instead of 90 cent bets. And it was, you know, stayed at 300 roughly uh, for half an hour. And I'm like, still winning, but not as much. Uh, and then I switched after an hour and a half of doing an hour worth of minimum bets and an hour worth of $2.70 bets, $2.70 bets, I went to $4.50 bets. And I continued to win, continued to, to win every little while. Um, but uh, I was, my bankroll was, was dropping. Uh, it went down to $100 um, from $300 for half an hour of bending a maximum bet. So that sort of, um, you know, should I vary your bet, find out which which number of credits is better? Um, I, I've done and seen, but I, I would prefer to do it like in different states, different casinos, and see how common it is. I know that my uh, um, five spin method works in one in four casinos uh, because I went to enough casinos. And this is something that I need to check out more places and not just give you one example of what I'm seeing in one state. Yeah. Um, uh, back in black went to Yamaba yesterday. That's a tribal casino in California. Veterans Day. Yep. Great. Free buffet. Oh, free buffet. Man, I'm just, mm, buffet is $30 in free play, won $800 in three separate slots using my uh, $38,000 free play. Use my method and, and another great, 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 great. Happy for you. I'm happy for you. Um, question from Tricia, if volatility, uh, yes, exactly. You're absolutely, Tricia says, if volatility has nothing to do with slot machines, why do slot manufacturers use the term to rate their own slot machines? Yes, exactly. They rate their machines, not how their machines relate to other slot manufacturers' machines. They have, uh, and they don't use volatility, correction, sorry, they don't use volatility, they use a volatility index, which is not the same thing. So that you can compare machine to machine within a slot machine manufacturer on a scale. They don't give volatility, they give a volatility index. Um, an index is uh, like Fahrenheit, temperature scale, Fahrenheit. Um, and IGT uses Fahrenheit 
and Scientific Games uses Celsius, and some other slot manufacturer uses Kelvin. So it's not, unless you know what how to convert one to the other, then you don't know. Uh, and also, um, yes, uh, you are also talking about volatility um, index uh, on slot machines. These are in power reports, which are only available through the Freedom of Information Act. Um, and you can apply and years later you can get it. And there's some publicly available that were achieved, received this way from 1989, 1990. Um, if anybody else is sharing power reports, it's because they own a slot machine have a business and they are violating their agreement by that purchase by publicly sharing agreements they've signed a non-disclosure agreement about it's a, that's totally illegal um yeah details matter uh let's see mommy says have uh yeah it's just the, uh, so you are right uh, this is all part of that, but it is not something that is shared with the public. It is not something that is um, a, a shareable between slot machine manufacturers. It is only a, 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 a way to compare something between slot machines within a gaming uh, manufacturer, a slot machine manufacturer for only their games and not for other companies. Uh, it's very, and, and nobody talks about this. Yeah. Uh, well done. Well done for even knowing all that. Good. Uh, but the consequences of it are important. Uh, Bonnie, have you ever visited or reviewed any casinos in West Virginia, Mountaineer? I've heard good things about Mountaineer. Um, so the, the there's a math problem. <laughs> there's a basic math. 1,000 U.S. casinos. If I were to go to two a week, two casinos a week for the entire year, it would take me 10 years to go to all 1,000 casinos. So the math is against me. And I figured out that math years ago. So I solved my problem. Uh, let me go to another page to show you. Uh, all, again, free stuff. Free, free, free. So um, professorslots.com. And it's going to, something's going to pop up, which I want to get rid of quickly. There you go. Okay. Uh, professorslots.com slash FB. Now we can say terrible things about Facebook and it's probably all true. But uh, if you go to professorslots.com slash FB, this is a Facebook group for every state, including my 18,000 member Professor Slots Enthusiast Facebook group. They're all private. I can't show you them because I said they're private, uh, but you can join and many of you have joined for your state or for the Professor Slots Enthusiast. So it's all searchable at the top of one of those pages is a little uh, magnifying glass and you can type in Mountaineer in Professor Slots Enthusiast or in West Virginia down here and see what people have said for the last two and a half years that I've had these Facebook, Facebook groups. People join regularly every day. I've already I, 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 um, accepted like you have, you have to actually apply and I have to actually approve because I keep out robots and I keep out spam and you have to follow the agreements and you have to agree to them. Um, uh, the, the, the social contract, the no spam. And if you go to uh, the um, your state, uh, you can look. The only one that there's like two states that uh, I have the territories here as well. Guam and Vermont, uh, there seems to be some sort of limitation about uh, the state not allowing people to access those within the state. So, uh, but um, some of these, I, I let me turn off the screen and I'll go to West Virginia and uh, not show you and say there are 121 members. And if um, I, I'm using kind of a private, uh, I, I, um, hmm, how do I do this? Uh, anyway, I was going to search for Mountaineer and, and, and maybe quote some of the things, but you can do that. You can join uh, that and, and professorslots.com slash FB. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Let's see, I, make sure you add hashtag, hashtag question. Uh, um, it's lots of fun. Do players misuse the term volatility versus return to player? Uh, yeah, I mean, volatility is just taken to be 
a bunch of different things. And mostly it's the return instead of how much does it vary around a set return as with video poker. Um, you know, Trisha's right there in the industry. If you are an expert, if you study power reports, if you work, you know, you buy slot machines and you have access to those things. Yeah. But that's, you know, who, who here owns a casino? You know, who here goes to IGT? Um, let's go to IGT. Yeah, let's do that. IGT.com. I accept all cookies. Uh, maybe I make this a little smaller so we can see what's going on. Log in. That's where you go. Log in to your access code as an IGT.com member account. Okay, that's 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 where you would find it. Um, you can do part search, uh, and and let's try that. Ah, you have to log in. <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. It's, it's uh, yeah, sure, power reports exist, but you do not get them. So these are all the programs that are available, product comp compatibility matrix, the, the reports, the protocols, uh, all these different things that you can get. Um, the customer document library, the uh, uh, customer web portal. Uh, this is all very important to the casinos and you don't have access. I don't have access. Yeah. Uh, right, so Leslie from Oregon asks a question about Oregon. <laughs> so, okay, um, uh, Oregon has state-run video machines throughout Oregon. Would your strategies work on them? Do the casinos uh, think of these as competition? So let's go to, um, I'll show you what I have for you. Um, and. Uh, in my Oregon article so that you can see all that. I'm actually living much closer to Oregon these days. Uh, so I'm like, mm, I could actually get there where it would have been was a little bit harder than um, uh, uh, coming from Ohio. So let me share that. Okay, Oregon. The usual structure, introduction, relevant legal statutes, private ownership, gaming control board. Some things are here like describing that um, the Oregon Lottery regulates VLT style gaming machines at non-tribal retailers. Uh, and um, in 2005, the VLT network added class three Vegas style line games for slots. Uh, then there's also the tribal casinos with their compacts. So there's VLT slide, uh, at, at non-tribal retailers, there's VLT gaming machines and at tribal casinos, there are uh, nine federally recognized tribes that have uh, negotiated compacts, which negotiated compacts means they have class three machines or can. So when you say state run video machines, you're talking about gas stations, these non-tribal retailers, laundromats. I don't know if it needs to have an alcohol permit or not. Um, so statewide, uh, Oregon has retailers with VLT slot machines. I'll click on that. And these are the retailers. So you can do I make that a little bit bigger for you? Maybe it helps. Uh, and so this, these are the retailers. You can search by re retailer name. You can filter by game. Uh, let's go to like the second one here because I want to show you something. So all these retailers have that uh, Aces Kicker machine. Um, and I want to try this and see what happens because one of the things that's interesting about Oregon, what I wanted to show you, um, it's not opening. All right. So, um, hmm. uh, you can also do list fill. Uh, so, so what I want, what I was trying to get there and I'm, I'm just doing this off the cuff and trying to remember is the payout lines. So, um, <clears throat> do you want to know what the returns are? payout percentage is on a machine in Oregon. Well, I have two here that I looked up. So, so I tried to use uh, the system, uh, but instead I did this. So there is a uh, five times play, 
the payout is between 91.99 and 91.99. <laughs> uh, and the denomination is a quarter machine and the minimum bet is $25 and the top spin amount is $600. Find your machine, search for it on the Oregon lottery and see which ones have the better odds. If you find something that's 93.99%, which is 2% better, do a backflip. You know, it, it, it's just, that's what you're looking for. So uh, do my strategies work? It depends. Uh, yes, at tribal casinos, it's a question mark about um, uh, the uh, Oregon lottery. In the state of Ohio, uh, the racetracks have slot machines which are uh, run by the uh, Ohio Lottery at the racetracks. Uh, and the, but the racetrack casino has full control. This works and five spin works at those, um, uh, morning after works at those, uh, all these different things work at those casinos because it's shared responsibility with the casino. But then you have Illinois which has much like what you have retailers and no, 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 there is no control by the casino. Uh, so no marketing, nothing. The state has a budget and if the budget is hurting, then the play payout drops. And you know, that is what happens in Illinois. So which one of those two extremes does Oregon have? I don't know. I don't know personal experience you should be able to tell pretty quickly but you do have the advantage of being able to find a machine that has the best odds and then go look for it and then play it uh, and that's your organ advantage and um, you make the most of that while the rest of us are jealous yeah. uh, let's see hey uh, um, uh, Macho, ma Mato, uh, I won 1700 at Crazy Pharaoh in Delaware Park. Thank you, Professor. You're very welcome. I'm, I'm glad. I'm so happy for you. Wonderful. Um, uh, Minnesota says, I heard you mention Mystic Lake Brasino. Yeah, yes, one of the other uh, uh, in the chat, somebody mentioned it. Uh, and uh, I looked it up, lived 15 miles from it, never won. I lived 55 miles from Treasure Island and in, in, in Welch. Minnesota win consistently there and get better comps. Thank you for sharing uh, this. This is why I've created those Facebook groups because people can, you know, find out from locals what they think. They could be at the casino today, right now, uh, or last week or last year, and just search for your casino in those states and see what people have said about it. Um, yeah, I should probably have mentioned this a little earlier. Please like this live stream to uh, help pull people in using the YouTube algorithm. Uh, it's kind of a central computer, <laughs> central server system, and let's make the most of it. Um, uh, Serenity, are the Thursday set slot, uh, slots enthusiast Zoom meetings uh, saved for later viewing? They are. Uh, uh, on the left side, you have to kind of like um, touch the uh, three, the hamburger, it's a three, uh, horizontal lines to open up that side of the screen if it's not already open and look under trainings and it's um all 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 of them are are recorded there and you can watch them yeah ah uh thank you joe uh good to know uh that that casino was closed and and, and sorry um so uh pin to black uh yesterday i think you um you asked a question and i think yesterday's uh, slots IQ library, um, slots Q and A library short uh, was from you. So, uh, if slots were all random, you would see wins on every one of the rows of the machine in the casino, and we all know that doesn't happen. It's always certain location to most casinos that the slots are looser. Yeah, but it's still very upsetting to people. Uh, as I talked about, it's very upsetting to people um, that uh, uh, you know that they didn't know for so long. Um, my my first um, uh, engineering manager uh, for an engineering job, aerospace engineering job, uh, shared some tips, and I always thought every one of his tips were like golden. Uh, and one of them was, if you tell, if you go to lunch, and the person you're sitting next to that you work with comes back from lunch, and he has a bit of lettuce right there between his two teeth, you tell him, and he's a little embarrassed. Um, 
but he gets over it. But if you go and you tell him 20 years later, he might just quit. You know, it, uh, it, it's, embarrass it's embarrassing as all heck. You know, people really feel strongly about, um, you know, doing something for so long wrong uh, and they get really upset, which is human, human nature. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, and these people are like stuck in not learning. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Pinda Black says, John is right. There is a method to the machines to get them, get our money. Yeah, but then we can turn it back on them. Uh, so Steve says, what's your thoughts on casinos having timed events like yesterday's Veteran Day event started at 8 a.m. and runs to 10 p.m.? You think they're good or bad for player returns? Uh, there's a couple of things that can go on. We can uh, talk about this. Uh, usually events are meant to get you there. Uh, and it's nothing good about the casino saying, just walk down this Pimrose path and, um, you know, and we'll fleece you as you go. Uh, I think there was an old um, Steve Martin movie where I will be your mugger today. They all got off the bus in New York and I will be your mugger today. <laughs> and, you know, it's just, you know, um, that's kind of how I feel about promotions. But you can do something about it because there will be, you know, the casino's full or half full or three quarters full and nobody's winning and don't play. But then when they are winning, play. And it's so, so obvious. It's so obvious. No, it's not like half the people went away. I have a, another article. I, I'm really showing the articles today. Um, so uh, let me see if I can pull that up for you quickly. It's uh, based on, I didn't say so in the article, but it is, uh, what was it? Um, what is the name of it? Friday observations. Friday observations. Yes. Uh, and so this is what we're talking about here. Friday casino observations to help you win at slots. Uh, I had an interesting conversation um, with with a, a person behind the counter. I don't usually say who I am when I go into a casino, but I did that time. Of course, she wasn't cute. <laughs> How dare you suggest that she was cute? Okay, okay. So I shared, and um, yeah, uh, and she says slot machines are random. And then I basically I spent like ninety minutes there. And uh, fire keepers in Southwest um, uh, Ohio it was a very rainy night. Uh, the casino was half or three quarters full, and I I did not see a hand pay in that ninety minutes. I walked around. All I did was walk around, play a few machines, and no hand pace. Uh, and I thought that was not a good sign. But then I heard somebody say there was a hand pace just a moment ago in the high limit room. And so I heard about one. Uh, and then I went back and I said, I've been here 20, 90 minutes and nobody won a hand pay. And I, I talked, went back to this, talked to this woman again. And as, you know, quote, unquote, her, her, a uh, person that she was next to her said, chimed in and said, there will be a lot more hand pays in a little while tonight. She said hundreds. It wasn't like there was going to be a hundred more, a hundred times more people. The casino was half full. And if you double that, then two hand pays from what I saw in 90 minutes. And she's talking hundreds. So yeah. Uh, wait for everybody else to win and then win. Yeah. Uh, that's what you can do during promotions and uh, or you can do via strategies or come back the next morning. Okay. Oof. Questions, questions, questions. Let's work through some questions here. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, flip um, uh, John at professorslots.com. Uh, and <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry. Uh, Kidding about the wife, uh, you said. Um, I will put in the live chat my email. Feel free to email me and we'll set something up. Uh, Parks Casino is opening a new casino early 2023, which is like, what, five years late? Um, all the major casinos in Pennsylvania uh, were allowed to open within a few miles a satellite site. And all that got shut down during the pandemic. 
and then after the pandemic, people uh, the casinos were like, no, we need to make our money back. <laughs> and so, um, uh, well, they tighten their machines uh, until a new casino opens. How this usually works, what I've seen, is they won't, they don't have to pay for the new casino. They have to, you know, give a certain amount uh, as a down payment, but um, they don't actually have to start paying on the new casino until all the approvals, the construction approvals have been signed off and it's actually considered to be done. And then the payments begin. And that's when they need the money and we'll take it by reducing the odds. So you have until they actually open that casino because that's only when they start paying for it. Yes, yes, you know, they, there's contracts and, you know, there's upfront costs and stuff like that. But but uh, the major money is the payments and that isn't done until it's approved. We're not paying for it until it's approved. You know, that's how big buildings are done. Um, Camilla, question, could you take a moment to tell us how your course can help non-US players such as Canada where winnings are not taxable? So winnings are, okay, so, uh, actually, I, I, I to answer your question. I will um, actually say thank you to John for his seventy-five dollar peso uh, a donation from uh, the Philippines, Manila, Manila Philippines. Uh, and uh, so, you had a question about. Um, uh, uh, so yes, um, could you take a moment to tell us how your course can help non-U.S. players? Uh, so <clears throat> these <clears throat> these strategies that I talk about, uh, if it's a class three machine uh, and it's not bingo, it's and, and HHR is kind of a question. And if it's like a convenience store where they don't are you know only have a few machines in, in New Zealand or Australia, it's not really a casino, even though you might call it that. They don't have the equipment, the central server, because it's just not enough machines to be worth its while. Um, and so really all my strategies work on class three machines at a place location that could work um, at a location if it has maybe 50 or more slot machines globally. Uh, if it's a bingo machine, then you use the bingo strategy. If you use uh, HHR machines, then, then you, you, you basically kind of... So it's like my strategy is sort of light. They, they all sort of work, but they never pay much that I found on HHR machines. Uh, so uh, understand my strat, my um, course. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, the course is here. I'll show you. Uh, this is the, the course page. It has a big description. The green button, it takes you to uh, something is a little bit shorter. This 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 course page has all the different sections. Um, what each section of the this is uh, for the day one and two, day two through seven, day eight through twelve, and then uh, thirteen through sixteen, and only then seventeen through twenty nine are the slot strategies because there are a lot of questions um, that need to be answered in advance about. What I was just saying bingo machines, this, that, and the other thing. Uh, so uh, if you go to the actual sign-up page uh, and you look at the course curriculum, this is kind of like the high-level overview, and you have all this stuff to go through before you get to slot strategies. Here on the live streams, I pick one of the slot strategies. I talk about aspects of it, what's done wrong, what's done right, this aspect, that aspect, etc. cetera. Um, actually, the course is very straightforward this, 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 and this. On the slot strategies, I only have one of these, uh, number six here, um, which is kind of talking about combining strategies. All the rest are like, do this for this one, do this for this one, do this for this one. But all of us advance pretty fast. And so I'm going to be offering, um, I'll make the announcement now, I am going to be offering a uh, uh, another course for people who have had this course to take them to the next step. So if you go to professorslots.com and you go to your plan to win right here, which I've never talked about before. If you are interested in taking that course, this is all the different things I offer. This is um, <clears throat> the courses, uh, consulting, the course, then slots labs. That's what I'm tentatively calling it. Six week group coaching program. Uh, where I will be live with you 
people who are taking the course for six weeks. And if you click this button right here, join the wait list, um, I will send out announcements and others to those of you who have already paid, for, uh, gotten the course. Um, but this is coming. This is something I'm setting up. When I originally started the 30 Days to Play Slot Smarter and Win, I wanted to find out whether people would be even be interested in it. This is a good business practice. Would you be interested in this? And then I would, then I, what I did was I offered, I, I said, okay, um, you can show your interest by signing up. And, and if enough people sign up, I will make the course and it will be released on this date, like a month and a half in the future. Hundreds of people signed up. So I made the course because it was of interest. Uh, and then everybody took the course. Um, Slots Lab is going to be the same way. I'm going to see if you are interested in having coaching from me uh, in a six week program with others like a live stream only it's going to be six weeks long uh, there will be uh, videos to watch but then every week we will talk and if you're interested click on this link and it'll open up this screen and sign in no cost i need to know if people are interested in and for those of you who have taken the course you'll be receiving an email before too long uh, saying um, this is how much i'm going to offer the course sign up pay for it here and if enough people pay for it then I'll offer it if people are interested. If people are not interested, then we won't do it. Uh, but make sure that if you want to be the front, uh, it's it's probably going to be only 20 people. Um, I'm thinking maybe 25, 20, 25 people per six week course. So if you want to get in, the people on this list get asked first. Then the course gets full and then it might be the second course etc uh, that's offered later so sign up under uh your plan to win and then uh, go down to slots labs not a very interesting name i should do better um right and uh let's see john nope uh, dairyland do you advise playing advantage play slots, uh, uh, wild pirate, uh, pirates, for example? Um, I usually get an email from the advanced uh, advantage players that watch the live stream either currently or, or, or watch it before it expires in a week. And they come back with like, oh, wild pirates is this and that and the other thing. So I, I have advantage players who are very interested in what you're saying. Um, I, I haven't played that particular one. I don't know if it's a true advantage play or a fake advantage play. I don't know if it's um, a good, you know, it, that it, if it is a good, if it is an advantage play, if it's one of the better ones, um, the more, the higher, the more advantage there is in an advantage play um, for using the game rules to to win money, um, sometimes by um, watching what other play players do and, and it hangs over to the new player that comes in and those prior players are completely unaware. Uh, uh, and the second player um, comes in and kind of like gets that accumulated award that the other player paid for. Um, and if that's sort of a short statement there. Uh, and uh, if it works, it works. Uh, if, if it's a better one, you know, there's there's ones that are not much of an advantage, uh, hardly worth it, and some that are. I don't know which of those pirate wild wild pirates is, um, but yeah, if if that's your thing, go for it. Absolutely. Yeah. If your thing is um, uh, progressive jackpots, and John has a question for me uh, from a, a little while ago, which I have stored in case we run out of questions, which is not happening today, uh, uh, then. Um, uh, you know, if progressive slots is your thing, then, then progressive. If queen machines in West Virginia are your thing, then, you know, I try to answer questions for everybody, but there are some things that, um, uh, uh, you know, if, if you have a particular question, we can do a consult and I'll address your questions. Like I was addressing um, uh, Shane's comments recently uh, uh, on Las Vegas trip and he just mind blowing uh, it was his experience on that. I, I should probably get an interview from him as well. Um, what Facebook groups, I have 57. I, it's Corey, I have 57. If you go to professorslots.com, dot com slash, hold on, 
slash FB. Yes, yes, yes. And I'll share. If you go to professorslots.com slash FB, these are my 57 Facebook groups. State by state. U.S. state by state. That's what I was talking about. Uh, and so John's question is, does playing more lines matter on games like games lightning link games like lightning link dragon link or just a minimum of five lines good enough for higher bet multipliers um you, so removing the whole question about which game uh, we were talking about recently uh in, at hollywood lawrenceburg um making minimum bets and my bankroll increasing and making maximum bets and my bankroll decreasing even though it was a winning machine on the minimum bets, 90 cent bets, I, I was winning every few bets, $20. When I raised it from 90 cents to $4.50, that was a 5x increase in how much I was betting. Did the amount that I was winning every few bets increase by 5x? No. It went from $20 not to $100, but went to $35. So it wasn't even double. Five X increase in bet did not even double the return on a winning machine. So your question is, does betting more lines matter? I've seen the opposite, uh, betting fewer lines. It takes forever to go, you know, raise your bankroll from $100 to $300 on 90 cent bets. But you went home with a couple hundred dollars. And if you wanted to stay longer than me, which was an hour, and if you wanted to stay for eight hours, that's rent. Uh, but then, you know, this whole chasing wins thing that we were talking about earlier, um, you know, people are like, I want, I don't care. I want, I want, my neighbor was like, I want a million dollars. And I'm like, you know, you have to spend $2 million, win it all back plus another million, that's how you win a million dollars. And he's like, what? I'm like, 50% profit on your bankroll? And he's like, what? And I'm like, what? <laughs> so we're all like, like confused. Um, so it's hard to understand some questions. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, yes, I will be adding it. So, so one of the changes that are coming, and it's a little bit delayed because of this whole month long move to Oregon, uh, to, to uh, Nevada, to Reno, um, just, you know, taking care of the cats and, and selling the house and all of that is to, you saw this, right? You saw this in my slides, right? Uh, that would be all by itself, a great addition to the course. Um, same content, a little updates for here and there as things have changed in about the last 10 months since I last put out the last edition. Um, and uh, I think that the most improvement would come from bullet points, making bullet points available. So I'm actually trying to get into the habit of doing that for live streams because that's going to be how it looks. It's going to be me again, but then there's going to be a screen next to me which is going to have going to have bullet points because some people learn best by listening. Some people learn best by doing, and some people learn best by seeing. And some people like to have bullet points as people here in the live stream are complimenting me on today. Yeah. Uh, Magpie says the course helped me study strategies, assess my casino, keep records and manage my bankroll. And only one of those four things that that Magpie says it was most important was strategies. Although keeping good gambling records is a strategy. Uh, um, your idea about having a pocket safe is good. Uh, I could have used it uh, for the uh, table games as volatility, the main reason for using pocket safes. Um, people are misusing volatility. I know what you mean. Uh, uh, volatility is taken to mean um, a bigger return, and volatility, in fact, is um, the same return, but whether you could be above and below, above and below it. So it's a misuse of the word. It's um, it's pretty. It makes people sound smart, except it doesn't 
make people sound smart to people who know what volatility means. <laughs> but most people don't, so good. I remember um, uh, my Dr. Boys, uh, who since passed away, one of my physics professors as an undergraduate, uh, we all had test scores and he said, uh, somebody said, could we have, vol could we have variance? Could we have uh, the deviation? Which is this, another words for volatility. Uh, in statistics, I went over that last live stream, uh, and and, and uh, he looked up and said, "Does that anybody even know what that means?" And I remember that very distinctly. And that's um, you know, uh, if somebody can hold information hostage, uh, I don't mean to go on, but volatility after my live stream, I, I said enough there. But if people are holding that knowledge hostage and saying, "I know what that means," and you don't, but when in fact they don't actually know what it means. Um, that's all kind of like, I have, to, I feel like I have to address those questions. Um, I get a lot of questions from other slots channels. Um, <laughs> uh, was it LA story? I, I, I don't think, I think it might've been used in LA story. Uh, okay. I, this one was in New York. Um, uh, maybe it was a Saturday night live skit. Um, uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so, and to share this. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Uh, so uh, to put that away, um, improve your slots performance in 30 days or less with my 30 days to play slots smarter and win. It's not just about winning strategies. It's about how to keep your winnings it, right there in the title. Um, you also get three free valuable bonuses plus one month free to my slots IQ membership where you'll get community support and accountability. Visit professorslots.com slash 30 days to learn more about the free bonuses, course content, and testimonials from participants, and which will say it's a, it's a great course and why it's a great course. And so you can read all about it. Um, and if you are in the course, only people who have taken the course are going to be allowed to purchase the slots labs because you need to have that foundation uh, in order to have the group coaching. Uh, so sign up for that so that you can get on the list. Um, and if you really, really, really want the slots labs, uh, get on that primary list. If you go to um, professorslots.com and then look up for the uh, uh uh, your plan to win and sign up. Uh, even if you already are on my email list, um, get your get yourself tagged to be part of that. Um, and Daniel says, I just signed up on the Slots Lab interest because, hey, if I, I will ask people to put money down and say, nobody puts money down. I, I, I have to find ways to pay for my rent <laughs> and, and it's all good stuff. Uh, um, you know, read the testimonials. So yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, uh, buffet, idea, buffet ideas, food for thought. Uh, I got, I, I had a, 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 a hard boiled egg for breakfast. I'm going to go eat. Okay. So that's it. What a great live stream. Uh, what a great live stream. You'll see me on my next live stream on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern or in Pacific time, 4 p.m. In the meantime, I highly recommend you watch this video on my challenge to you to do this one free thing to win more often at Slots.